Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I wanna to go over something that I've been asked over 2,000 times. What's better, recall box or retro pie? Now, I was gonna do a video versus versus, you know, I was gonna have recall box running on the Pi 3, retro pie running on the Pi 3, but when you break it down, they're both running the same systems. Now, recall box, out of the box, as soon as you download it, install it onto your SD card. Most of the emulators are running at a very low resolution, which is going to enable faster speeds within that emulator. RetroPie, you can do the same exact thing, but you need to tweak a few settings. Recallbox is very user-friendly. From the start, the installation is even a bit easier. All you do is you download Recallbox, unzip it, place it on your FAT32 formatted SD card, put it in the Pi, and it starts installing itself. RetroPie, you either need to use Etcher, Win32 Disk Imager, or if you're using Linux, you can DD. Other than that, there's really not much difference. RetroPie does have more emulators. Now, having more emulators doesn't make it a better setup. A lot of these experimental emulators run like <laughs> So, for me, I have come to the conclusion that my Raspberry Pi 3 is really good at emulating Atari 2600 all the way up to the PlayStation one minus the N64. A lot of people say that N64 runs better on recall box. It does seem to run better, and that's because out of the box, it's set at a lower resolution. That's all there is. They're using the same exact cores. They're either using MooPen64 or Gloopin64. You can take RetroPie down the resolution, and it's going to run exactly the same as recall box. I've kind of given up on the N64 emulator for the Raspberry Pi 3 right now. I do believe the 3 has the power to run the N64 emulator at full speed, but the optimization for the emulator hasn't been set up yet. One day, there's going to be some guy walking by and say, hey, I know exactly what to do. Here, let me, let me fix that code for you. And the N64 is going to run most games at full speed with no audio lag at all on your Raspberry Pi 3, either running Recallbox or RetroPie. But for now, I've kind of set it on the back burner. I've accepted we have Atari 2600 up to the PlayStation 1. So what do I prefer? I mean, obviously, I run RetroPie all the time. But for my friends, when I build them a Pi setup, I give them Recall Box. It's easier for them to use. They just plug their controller in, add their ROMs, and get going. Same kind of thing with RetroPie, but there are some tweaks that you can do to make everything work a little better. Recall box is full of customization, so is RetroPie. It really boils down to personal preference, and the only thing I can suggest to you guys is to try them both out. Grab two of the same SD cards, let's just say a Samsung 32 gigabyte class 10 SD card, install recall box on one, install RetroPie on the other, put the same ROMs on and see which one you like better. It's really up to you. I run RetroPie, I use Recallbox for my kids and friends who don't know much about computers. RetroPie will have updates more often than Recallbox will. Um, it takes a while for Recallbox to get updated. I know there's a lot of people working on it, but it seems that the RetroPie team has more people working on it steadily. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I mean, neither of them really run any better than the other one. It's all about setting up your emulator correctly, getting the correct resolution, and if the emulator supports frame skip, you need to turn that on if you're having trouble. But I've found that Atari 2600, Neo Geo, NES, SNES, PlayStation 1, ColecoVision, Commodore 64, there are tons of emulators that run flawlessly on both systems. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. If you guys want to hear any more about Recallbox versus RetroPie, let me know in the comments below. They're both running an emulation station. They're both running RetroArch. I mean, they're pretty much set up the same way. Like always, thanks for watching.